Hey guys, it's Oogs. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. One click, one sub, one like, and you are all set. Thank you so much, my friend, for helping the channel. You guys are absolutely legend. Listen, people, remember when I was making videos like a few months ago calling Chelsea Football Club to sign Gabriel Jesus? Yeah, it's on the record. It's on the record. The good thing about it, you know, doing this on YouTube is that you keep everything on the record. So it's easy to find. I made more than 10 videos. I made more than five or seven live streams focused on Gabriel Jesus and how he's going to be a perfect fit for Chelsea Football Club. People called me names. I know nothing about football. Are you saying that the gaffer is wrong? Because now you can't analyze football without criticizing or attacking somebody. Oh, do you have an agenda? Do you want the manager to get sucked? No. I didn't say that. I'm just talking football here and you can make your own conclusion. So when I was saying Gabriel Jesus was perfect for Thomas Tuchel system because he's kind of hybrid number nine, not, not a proper target man, but he can do the job pretty much what Thomas Tuchel is asking players at Chelsea to do. Exactly what we needed. All the geniuses online called me names, say, I don't know anything about football. If you are manager at Chelsea Football Club, we're going to get relegated. We're not going to win anything. Blah, 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 blah. You know how it goes. Some of them just come to look for attention so you can, you can talk to them. You know, so I completely understand. But listen, everything that I said, you know, in few months or few years, you will see that I was right. Because why? Simple common sense. And we don't use common sense nowadays. Now it's about copy and paste reaction from big account on social media. You know, we don't think. We don't have our own genuine thinking anymore. It's because somebody said something, you copy and paste. What is happening? Jesus is walking on water. All right, my people. So, uh, everybody is talking about Saliba now. He's trending because of a wonder goal that he scored and because he played three games this season. And amazing. What a player. What a player. But we kind of forgot that we killed a lot of Salibas <laughs> at Chelsea Football Club. How many Salibas we killed in the Chelsea team? So many of them. Because when they finish doing their traditional 100 loans, they come to Chelsea Football Club, everybody will switch. Oh, now they need to learn from the bench. Hello, brother. You said that they need loans. In order to be a player for Chelsea Football Club, you need 1,000 loans. I already did my 1,000 loans, and you want me to sit on the bench and learn again from the bench and fight for my place. Yeah, I can fight for my place, but how can I fight when you only give me two minutes and three minutes in a game? Let me just give you an example, right? Conor Gallagher, he played two games with Chelsea Football Club on paper so far, and both two games, guess what? Two minutes here and three minutes there, five minutes. At the end of the season, statistics are gonna tell you he played two games no assist no goal but all together five minutes let it sink in because people make theory just to fit a certain narrative in that particular time context don't even count so if uh, Saliba was a Chelsea football club I don't think he was even going to start any game for Chelsea football club so far but it is what it is. We are spoiled at Chelsea Football Club. And the same people that will insult you that you don't understand anything about football are ah, the people that don't understand themselves anything about football because for them, football is about finished article, 
win me a trophy now, struggle for three more years, and then rebuild the team again for a short period of time, win me a trophy, and that's it. People would tell you, we're not going to win any trophy with you or doing this or trusting you for whatever. Listen, you can win a trophy today and then you go in crisis for three years. What is the point? But if you build from the foundation, you can have a long-term success, a lot of trophies, just like City, four uh, Premier League in the last uh, five years. That is building from the foundation for long term. Chelsea Football Club is about shortcut. Win me now. I don't care what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't trust those kids. They are not good enough for Chelsea. Get them out and salt and salt and salt 24-7. You will see the same people who are insulting kids online. They are kids themselves. I'm like, brother, how old are you? 15 years old. Why are you insulting those kids who are trying to make it in the professional level? You're supposed to support them. But the deluded world will tell you that everything needs to happen today. You are a kid yourself. You need to go to school. You need to do this and that. Find a job to make it to a certain level. But you are preaching people as if everything needs to happen today. And this is the kind of deluded world that we are living and that's why kids don't want to go to school anymore because they want to play gambling online and think that they're going to become billionaire online without any kind of effort or any kind of process let's talk about games today very quickly we already talked uh yeah the arsenal one since we're still talking about arsenal three nil against bournemouth odegaard two goals william saliba one wonder goal gabriel jesus with an assist zaka also with an assist all the guy man of the match of course i'm not gonna waste too much time because everybody knows what happened during that game but arsenal three wins out of three nine out of nine point last season they were bottom of the the table after three games zero out of nine and you can see the difference between last season and this season because they are building for the future it's a process of course they haven't won many trophies they only won fa cup in the process but nobody is telling you that they're not gonna win anything this season so arsenal you have to keep your eye open on them because they are serious candidate for many trophies this season Europa League, the Premier League, we don't know. So with a young, with a bunch of young men that they have right now, they are really scary. Okay, another game that we're going to discuss in this video is going to be Tottenham Hospitals 1-0 at the end. Harry Kane with another goal. He broke some kind of record, like the most goals uh, scored in the Premier League in one team. So congratulations to him. He's a bowler. And uh, Perisic, man of the match, wow, what a performance. 33 years old, linked with Chelsea. We almost signed him, but I don't regret getting uh, Kukurea today, of course. I'm just trying to make a point here. Uh, awesome. And uh, you can say they were lucky. That cross from Perisic and Hurricane header, he was alone in the far post. But you, you have to create your own luck, though. Hurricane is always in good positions, you know. So, yeah, Tottenham Hotspurs. Uh, now, Chelsea need to respond because all the London clubs won their games. So, Chelsea Football Club on Sunday, they have to win against Leeds United. Otherwise, we're going to start creating some gaps uh, between us and our, uh, our London rivals. And uh, uh, this guy here, uh, Matthews Nunes, he had a very good game, played for 90 minutes. Wow, the first uh, game in the Premier League, 90 minutes, he was very good. Let's see how far he can go in the Premier League. Very quickly here, I don't want to make this video too long. Crystal Palace completely destroyed Aston Villa. Congratulations to Patrick Vieira. Zaha, man of the match. Wow, wow. Look at that, my friend. Look at that. Zaha scored a couple goals. He misses a lot, but 
sometimes he scores. So, Chelsea fans, let me know if you would like to see the high Chelsea Football Club. Jean-Philippe Mateta also scored. So, Patrick Vieira, what a coach, man. All they are missing is somebody who can push, push the ball at the back of the net. But today, everything was working for them. Zaha smiling again, having good time. And Steven Gerrard need to be very careful because with the group of players, with the money that they spent on that, um, that team, I think they should be fighting for European places and not fighting for relegation. Cameras are going to be on Stevie G this season. And of course, people are talking about Frank Lampard getting sacked because he drew 1-1 at the end. They were losing already. So they, they managed to score in like uh, extra or uh, added time. They are always reactive uh, instead of being proactive. They do good only after like conceding a goal. So Lampard also need to be very, very careful. Um... Lampard also missing no striker, missing a lot of players in the team. Some of the players that he signed just, uh, you know, had like few training sessions and all that. But listen, no more excuses. He need to start winning some, some games because um, otherwise everybody is going to get on him and call him name. You know how it goes when it comes to English, English ex-players and and especially in the Chelsea community, they are waiting for Lampard to fail so they can say, I told you so, kind of. But 1-1 at the end, they were lucky to equalize, but they have to be proactive. I don't think we should compare uh, Frank Lampard with uh, Stevie G because, because Stevie been there for long term. For long, uh, he's been there longer than Frank Lampard and he got a better team while Frank Lampard trying to build a team literally from scratches. So, yeah, Gray saved uh, saved Everton today. Fulham 2, Bradford... Uh, oh, Fulham 3, Bradford 2 at the end. And that one also was a very ga good game of football. A man of the match, Ivan Tony again. What a good guy. What a guy. Chelsea Football Club, instead of spending 30 million or 40 million or over on Obama Young, you can put the same money on Ivan Tony. <laughs> Why not? So, yeah, very good game of football at the end. Fulham, I don't think they are going down to the championship. I have to tell you that. Leicester City against uh, Southampton. That one. Man of the match, uh, Shea Adams from Southampton. 2-1 uh, at the end, Leicester City, man. Leicester City need to be careful. And uh, listen, uh, the young uh, the young defender that is going to sign for Chelsea Football Club, he wasn't even there. Uh, he, asked, he asked for permission to stay away. Um, because he's not in a in the right frame of mind to play the game, so they lost. Um, they lost this game of football. But Rogers also this this season. I don't know where they're gonna finish, but I'm afraid they might lose few more players, and they're gonna struggle at the end. Hmm. So Fofana didn't play today, but they they ended up by losing anyways. So let's wait and see what's going to happen in the next coming days. 